Hello folks, so from the man here again with my promised FX OS micro SD card preparation tutorial. For the basic section of this tutorial, we'll be covering why we need to prep our micro SD cards and how to do it. Uh, and then we will install the stock FX OS sound fonts onto an SD card. For the advanced section of the tutorial, I'll go over converting aftermarket sound fonts for use with FX Saber OS, as well as modifying FX Saber OS to run more than five sound fonts. Uh, this tutorial assumes that you've already got and programmed the Diwino with FX Saber OS. I will be doing this in Windows 10, so you'll need some additional software to be able to do this fully. Uh, you'll need 7-Zip, which is available here and you will need the SD card formatting utility, which is available from here. Uh, I will, of course, have links in the description below. Now, before we get this started, I would like to address a myth that's grown up in our little community. This is not difficult. Seriously, I'm, I'm doing this, all I'm doing in this video is going through the instructions available on the GitHub's wiki. You know, here. There are no tips, there are no special tricks. This is all I've learned from reading the instructions and applying them. Why do we need to prep our SD cards? Well, the why of it is simple. We use the F players, and the F players are dumb. They have the ability to be controlled via Arduino, but even then their abilities are limited. They were designed to be very simple MP3 players, to be used in very simple jobs where you load a few MP3s onto an SD card and it plays them. The way that we're using them in FX Saber OS is really pushing what they can do, but they can do it. So why do we use them and not another MP3 module? Simply because they're cheap, available from almost anywhere on the internet and in almost every region of the world, and can be made to do the job with some very simple workarounds. Unfortunately, because they are cheap and plentiful, there are actually very few alternatives available on the market that we could use, so effectively we are stuck with them. Now, the main problem is that when it comes to playing files, a DF player doesn't care about file names or numbering in any way. All that matters to a DF player is the order in which the files are loaded onto the SD card that it's reading off. The first file you load onto the SD card will be the first file that it plays, the second will be the second, the third will be the third, etc. Uh, to work around that limitation, we have to prepare our sound fonts to be in a set order, and we have to ensure that the files are loaded onto the SD card in that set order. The FX Saber OS code then uses a series of offsets to know what files it can play in what specific scenario. The pe this page on the GitHub wiki, preparing the SD card, goes into it in detail. And this page on the GitHub wiki, sound font H, goes into the offsets in detail and why your sound font H is structured like it is. Again, links will be in the description below. So all that really matters is that there is a set order of files and all it takes is one file out of that order and the whole system goes down. So by default, FX Saber OS is set up to have 30 files per sound font. One boot, four ignitions, two retractions, eight swings, eight clashes, one lockup, four blasters, one font ID, and one hum. On top of that, it needs the 29 configuration sounds in the config sounds folder. That is 179 files in total that have to be transferred onto your SD card in order so that FX Saber OS does not sound like a garbled mess. This is easy. First things first. Your micro SD card. You'll want to connect your micro SD card up to a PC uh, via an adapter, either a USB or adapter or an SD card adapter. I have already done that here. It is in USB drive F. Then this is where the micro SD formatting utility will come in handy. You will want to uh, install it on your computer and then use it to format the SD card. I have put it in downloads. 
All this does is wipe the SD card clean. You will have to format your SD card every time you change the sound fonts on it. There is a reason for this, but I can't remember it off the top of my head, so we'll skip that for now. The important thing is that you have to format your SD card every time you want to change the sound fonts on it. So click on Format. It does it relatively quickly. Format was successfully completed. We will now no longer need the SD card formatter for this tutorial. Let's go back to the SB drive and yeah, see the format, the folder is now empty. So let's leave that in the background for now. So you want to open your FX Saber OS folder and navigate your way into the sound fonts folder. Inside it, you'll find a few compressed folders. Now, if you don't have 7-Zip installed on your PC, you'll need to do that now for this next step. There will be a link in the description below to 7-Zip. All you have to do is select the Diwino Prime SD card image, this file here. It's a compressed folder that holds all the configuration sounds and the five default sound fonts. All you have to do is select this file and extract it with 7-Zip. Uh, once once 7-Zip is, is installed, you'll have this option to right-click on it. Just extract the files, extract them here. And there we have all the files we will need for a stock uh, Diwino sound font installed. Once extracted, all you have to do is move the folders onto the SD card. Okay, now this is the big word of warning. Do not copy and paste. The reason is simple. Now, remember my little talk earlier about order? Well, copy and paste breaks that order. Uh, for reasons known only to Microsoft programmers, when you copy and paste multiple files in a Windows operating system, the files are pasted in a random order. Now, in 99% of cases, that's not a problem anyone really needs to worry about. In this case, though, we are that 1% where the files being pasted out of order will effectively screw us up. So what you need to do is not copy and paste. You need to drag and drop. Open up the USB drive and sound fonts. So all we're going to do is drag and drop our sound fonts over. So first, important, Always copy the config sound folder first. That's config sounds, JB Kuma there. Drag and drop. Then the sound fold one. So there. Sound font two. Drag and drop. Sound font three. Drag and drop. Sound font four, drag and drop. Sound font five, drag and drop. And that's it. Besides ejecting your SD card, and putting your SD card in your saber, this is all you have to do to prepare your SD card for use with a Diwino. Okay, so you've got the default sound font package set up and working on your Diwino. Hooray! Now, do you fancy something else? There's a whole world of sound fonts available to purchase on this fine website, saberfont.com. And now I will go over how you can get them working with your Diwino thanks to Jakesoft's sound font converter, a utility included with the standard uh, Diwino package. What's more, I will also show you a very simple code modification that will let you run more fonts on your Diwino lightsaber. Now for this, you will need your FX Saber OS folder handy, so have that open. Okay, you will have to buy your own sound fonts. You can do that by going to savefont.com, registering an account, 
and buying a sound font. Now, for demo purposes in this tutorial, I'm, I'm just going to be reconverting a sound font from my own personal stash. Uh, in this case, I will be using Genesis Custom Sabers Flourish V2, which I've got here. You can find it on Saber Font by going here. So, Font Artist, it's one of Mad Cow, of Gen well, Genesis Custom Sabers. Go to page two. And there it is, Flourish version 2. Uh, now, a couple of important notes about Saberfont. So when buying uh, through Saberfont for a Diwino, you have to buy the Plecta Labs variant of a sound font. Uh, do not buy the open source fonts. Open source in this case means sound fonts optimized for Profiboard or Teensy Saber not Diwino. Yes, they're both open source, but Saberfont has no refunds if you buy the sound fonts for the wrong card. So again, buy Plecta Labs, not NEC, not open source, Plecta Labs. Most of the info that I'm going to be covering for the rest of this video tutorial comes from Jake Soft's own video on his sound font converter. Uh, I will, again, link this video in the description below. Anyway, Let's just assume that I have bought Flourish V2 and downloaded it from the link provided. I have this zip in my download folder called Flourish. Let's leave that there for a moment. So create a folder. I'm going to create one here in my downloads. Create a folder. I'll create a folder here in downloads. Let's call it Diwino Conversion. So copy and paste the Flourish zip into your newly created folder. Then go to your FX Saber OS folder. Go into Tools and copy and paste the sound font converter utility into the Diwino conversion folder. Then you will want to create another new folder. We'll call it the name of your font converted. So in my case, that will be Flourish V2 Converted. So we're going to unzip Flourish. Let's use 7-zip, just extract it here. And we'll use 7-zip to extract the files on the sound font converter here. Right, so first things first, uh, you'll want to pop into the Flourish folder. We need to make one small modification to the files here. Now, for some reason, Plecta sound fonts name their second power off sound PWR off 2. To make it work with the sound font converter, you'll need to rename that to power off two. So, what does the converter do? Well, if you've watched JakeSoft's video, you know that it does two things. One, it adds a hum extension to every file on the sound font. Two, it also renames the individual files with a numerical prefix that puts them in the correct order to work with FX Saber OS. So let's load up the sound font converter. So first let's select the sound font we want. Uh, see this input field here with source folder? You'll want to set that and find the Flourish V2 loadable. So in my case that's in downloads Diwino conversion, Flourish V2 loadable. We'll set the destination folder as downloads, Diwino conversion, and Flourish V2 converted. We'll need to select the correct number of files here that we want for the sound font. Now, if you'll recall from earlier, we need one boot, four power-ons, two power-offs, Eight swings, eight clashes, one lockup, four blasters, one font ID, and the hum. So we're going to adjust the numbers on the side accordingly. So four power ups, two power offs, eight swings, eight clashes, 
four blasters, one lockup, one boot. Uh, don't worry about the font ID or the hum, they will be converted automatically. And once that's all done, hit convert. It's a very quick process. That conversion successful. So that's done, check the output folder and you should have 30 files inside of it. So control A, 30 items, 30 items selected. Congratulations, you have converted a font for use with Diwino and FX Saber S. Now, let's close that. If you want to use this sound font on uh, your Diwino, you'll have to go through the whole process that I explained earlier in the video. You'll format your SD card, then drag and drop it instead of one of the other default fonts. Or, we could just increase the number of fonts. Now this is a very simple modification to the code and I'll show you how to do it now. Just open the FX Saber S folder. Right, connect your Saber via, via USB and load up FX Saber OS in the Arduino IDE. When it's loaded, you will want to go to the soundfont.h tab here. Under define sound font quantity here, you'll just change five to six. Now this can actually go up to 253 sound fonts if you have an SD card big enough and have bought the entirety of saberfont.com for whatever reason. Now after you've changed the sound font quantity, you'll want to scroll down to the ignition timing array. You saw this on the last video, right. And what you will want to do is add an additional case to this array. So we'll copy and paste this entire section here, including case and the uh, semicolon off the break. Copy, line down, and paste. All you'll have to do after this is change the case number from four to five, and maybe change the south font directory from five to six, although that's a minor thing. Verify and compile, and then upload it uh, to your Sabre. And you will find that you have six fonts available on your Sabre instead of five. Assuming, of course, that you have six fonts on your SD card. Now, there is one small catch associated with this, but it has an incredibly easy fix. When you turn your six sound font saber on for the first time and go through the configuration menu, you'll find that when you reach your six sound font, your blade isn't on. There'll be no LEDs, the pixel blade will be completely dead. That's because your saber doesn't have any color values saved in the EEPROM for a six font yet. All you have to do to fix that is go through the main menu and set the colors as you normally would for any other custom blade. And that, as they say, is that. Uh, if anyone has got any other ideas for other tutorials I should make about FX Saber OS, uh, please let me know in the comments below. So everyone run out.